Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So today I wanted to address a question I've been seeing in the comments, and that's if there's any way to use a VPN for when you're on your PS4 or PS5. Now the PlayStation systems aren't natively compatible with VPNs, but you can still connect them to a VPN in a roundabout way. There's three ways to do this, and I'll go over each of them. I'm gonna be using ExpressVPN here as my example, but you can also use NordVPN or Surfshark for this, and I'll discuss all three VPNs a little bit more at the end of the video. But for now, let me show you how to get your PlayStation connected to your VPN. Now the first method is by far the easiest. You'll be getting the VPN on your Wi-Fi router, and then since your PlayStation is connected to your Wi-Fi router, it'll automatically be secured by your VPN. And to do this, you'll have to go to the Express website and click on Download VPN, then find the selection called Routers right here. Now using a router is probably the best and most reliable way of connecting your devices to a VPN, because it can secure all of your devices at once without you having to download the Express app on each device. And since there are devices like the PS4 and PS5 that you can't download the app onto, this is a great way to do it. Everything connected to that Wi-Fi will be automatically protected by the VPN. VPN. Simple. However, not all routers are compatible with VPNs, and to check if your router is compatible, you can scroll all the way down on the Express website and you'll see a list right here. And if you're in the market for a router, you can actually get a router with a built-in VPN that has Express pre-installed. It's called the Express Air Cove, and it gives you a lot of control over what devices are connected to your VPN, and you can group certain devices to have one IP address and other devices to have another IP address, and you can get up to five groups. So for example, you can have your fridge and other smart appliances connected to a local IP address so that you can make smart grocery lists, and at the same time, you can have your PlayStation connected to an address that's close to the game server you're playing on, so that you can have a faster game with less ping, things like that. Now the problem with the router method is that you won't be able to use the VPN outside of the Wi-Fi. So if you're looking for a more portable way to connect your PS4 and PS5 to the VPN, maybe you play at a friend's house on weekends, or you don't have a compatible router, then I have a couple more solutions for you. The second method is downloading the VPN onto your phone and using your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot for your PlayStation. And this method is also pretty simple. Just turn on the Wi-Fi and connect your phone to it. Then set up your phone as a hotspot. Then connect your PS4 or PS5 to the phone's hotspot internet. And your phone can have the VPN already downloaded and turned on, and that way your PlayStation will also have the VPN security through the phone's connection. However, do make sure that you're connecting your phone to your Wi-Fi internet and not your mobile data, especially if you have a limited data plan for the month, because we all know that the PlayStation can run through all of your data with just one game update, so watch out for that. Now the third and final method is a little bit more complicated. What we're going to do is connect your PS4 or or PS5 to your PC and use your PC as a VPN gateway. So the first thing you need to do is install the VPN onto your PC. Let's say you're on Windows. Install it through here. And then you have to connect your PS4 or PS5 to your computer. And for that, you're going to have to use an Ethernet cable. Once they're connected, you can go to the control panel under Network and Internet, click on View Network Status and Tasks. Once the window opens, go to the menu on the left and click on Change Adapter Settings. And here you'll get this list. Now to find out which one of these is your VPN connection, turn off your VPN and turn it back on. You'll notice that one of the connections listed also turned off and on. That's your VPN. Remember what it's called. Then you want to right click in the folder and click properties. Go to the sharing tab and click the option that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And from the drop down menu, you want to select ethernet. And from here, you can go to your PS4 or PS5, go to settings, network, and then set up your connection to use a LAN cable. And choose the easy connection method and follow the on-screen instructions and then it'll be done. So those are the three methods. You can either download the VPN onto a compatible router or buy a router with a built-in VPN like Aircove, or you can download the VPN on your phone and use your phone as a hotspot for your PlayStation, or you can connect the PlayStation with your computer, which takes a few more steps, but it's a good way to get the VPN working on PS4 or PS5. Now, as I mentioned previously, while I used ExpressVPN for this example, I would also recommend NordVPN or Surfshark. All three of these VPNs are really good, and which one you pick will be based on you and your situation. So I'll break down some of their features and specs in case you're not sure which one to get. But if you want more in-depth reviews for each, Express or Nord or Surfshark, I'll leave links to those in the description down below. So I'll start with Express, since you've already seen how it works. It's the best overall and easiest to use. It also has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated in the real world when the Turkish government seized one of their servers and wasn't able to get any useful information, proving that they don't collect user data. And Express has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe on streaming platforms like Netflix, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, and many more. Plus, you can secure up to eight devices simultaneously per account, and it's compatible with most devices. So when people ask me for a recommendation, I usually go with Express because of how reliable and consistent it's been. Next, I'll tell you a bit about NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 6,100 servers in 67 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this does help with speed and latency, especially if you're using your VPN for gaming. Nord also has a bunch of extra features and specialty servers for you to take advantage of, and it allows for six simultaneous connections per subscription. So all in all, if you're looking for 
more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then last but not least, there's Surfshark, which is the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and you still get some bonus features and specialty servers. And the best part is, you can secure an unlimited number of devices all under one subscription and for the least amount of money. So if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. Express is the best VPN overall with a strong focus on privacy and anonymity online. Nord is the most well-rounded and high-performance VPN, and it's ideal for those looking for bonus features. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that you get to share around with as many of your friends and family as you like. So which one of these three you pick is really up to you and your specific situation. And if you want to get one of these VPNs, I'll have the latest discounts and coupon codes in the description below. All three of them will work great for your PlayStation, though you'll have to connect the VPN to your console in a roundabout way. You can download the VPN on a compatible router or on your phone or on your PC. So you'll be using the VPN through your router, using your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, or connecting your console to your PC via Ethernet. If you decide to use one of these methods, tell me about it in the comments and let me know how it went. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description and grab yourself the best discount possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And feel free to tell me in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.